Hi everyone, welcome to ITVK. So Google has just announced 140 version for Google Chrome. And what I think is this is now the latest release and this has removed the previous workaround that we used to enable uBlock Origin MV2 to block ads. So in this quick video, we will do some tweaks and workaround to enable uBlock Origin again to block ads successfully. So make sure to like and subscribe ITPK and don't miss any step. If you have previously installed uBlock Origin in your browser, you will notice that this toggle will be grayed out and you will not be able to turn this on and off. So to get your uBlock working again, please go ahead and click the link given in the video description that will take you to GitHub Gorel uBlock releases page where Gorel maintains and manage uBlock Origin and here Please scroll down and we want to go to 1.66.4, the latest version for Chromium. Just go ahead and click on it, download it in your computer. So now the quick tip for you, let's go to download and let's move this folder to the other location where I can keep it permanently. Please note that once you have configured your Google Chrome browser with this folder, you are not allowed to remove or move this folder from this place because everything is pointing out to this mother folder. Now let's navigate back to the browser and here enter Chrome dash flex and hit enter. Now here you will notice that previously we have enabled 138 flex. Now at this point we are going to enable 139 flex. Let's enable this and I would recommend you relaunching your browser. Now let's go to search bar again enter MV2. Here allow legacy extension manifest version. What we have to do is click on default and select enable and then again relaunch your browser. So those are the two flags we need to be enabled. Temporarily unexpired 139 flags and allow legacy extension manifest version. Now what we do, let's go back to extension page and make sure the developer mode is turned on. Okay, now here we have to load unpacked. First, let's go ahead and extract this file here. I want to extract all. I want to extract it at this location. That is fine. And here I got the extracted file. Let's go back, load unpacked, go to C drive again. Here is my required file. And please make sure you have selected the secondary folder, not the first one. Go ahead, open the first one and select the secondary folder and click on select folder. Now that has imported everything back into the browser and you can see uBlock is now enabled. Let's click on the error and clear R. Please note that errors could come here several times and you might have been keep removing them. But please note that the extension will work perfectly. Now here, if you want, you can turn on and off the uBlock origin. Secondary, we can go here and let's pin uBlock origin into my Google Chrome browser. And it's here. Now let's do a little test by opening any website. And here you can see uBlock origin is working perfectly and started blocking the ads. That's great. Now here at the end, I want to share a quick tip for you that if you already have uBlock Origin in your browser by following my previous video, you don't need to go through all of the steps and download uBlock from Gorehill. You just have to go to the flags page and enable these two options and turn on the developer mode. So that's it about today's quick video that how you can get back uBlock Origin into your Google Chrome browser up and running. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe ITPK. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.